Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. For a really long time, food and cooking and all sorts of stuff like that really wasn't a big deal for me. I, I could eat the same thing all the time, completely bland, whatever. It was quick, it was easy, it was usually out of a box into the microwave, and it kept me alive, it sustained me well. That was pretty much all that food was really good for, unless it was at a party, in which case someone else was usually making it. And that's how I got introduced to a whole lot of very tasty, different varieties of food. Because uh, growing up, we didn't have a huge spread of different meals that we would have. We had our handful of staples that were tasty enough. Um, but my family wasn't huge on spicy food by any stretch of the imagination, and it wasn't until college that I discovered spicy food. And, uh, and pretty much ever since then, spicy food has been my core health plan. So the spicier, the better. It keeps me healthy, burns out all the bad stuff, keeps everything else moving. And that's something that you can't really get in boxes, in in your standard microwave stuff that you toss in the microwave. It may say spicy on it, but it really isn't spicy by my standards. And it's that's one of the reasons, uh, aside from trying to save a little bit of money, that I started looking into cooking my own stuff. Uh, and that really happened when I got down to the DC area in my first apartment and uh, realized that, you know, it's really expensive to order out all the time, and if I want to continue paying rent, I should probably save money a little bit. So how can I do that? Oh, I can cook my own food. And when I started, I didn't have a whole lot of fancy cooking stuff. I still don't have a whole lot of fancy cooking stuff. Uh, I have my George Foreman grill, which I've had the entire time I've been down here. I have my combination microwave convection oven, which is awesome uh, and probably going to die soon because I've also had that since I've been down here. And I bought it because the first apartment I was in when I moved in, the oven wasn't working and I needed something to make frozen pizzas in. And this thing was just the right size for that. Uh, and since then, uh, I've learned to use a couple of different microwave tricks on it. And I use it all the time as a small oven and as a toaster uh, and everything like that. When I discovered the uh, different simple, simple being the key thing here, recipes for stuff, uh, it changed the way I look at food a little bit. And it became more of something to experiment a little bit with, uh, something to enjoy the flavor of. A little bit more something to share with people and that's uh, one of those things that I used to do a uh, handful of years ago is I would have uh, these nights where I would invite a uh, friend or two over and I would cook them something different something that I don't normally make for myself I'd try out a new marinade on a hunk of steak I'd challenge myself to meet their dietary needs uh, with a vegan dish or something like that. A and it always turned out really, really well. A and I still use some of those off the top of my head marinade recipes when I do marinate stuff these days. But I haven't done that in a while. A and it's one of those things I keep threatening to get back to. But the simple fact is it's a little tricky to plan ahead uh, and and to have the fresh stuff uh, that, that I would need to do a lot of this on hand when people are available. Uh, some of that is because it's uh, no quick trip to the grocery store uh, without a car. Uh, so fresh fruit and vegetables and things tend not to last until I use them, since I'm usually just feeding myself. Which means any meal I make uh, that, that isn't um, single serving right off the top, uh, like, like a, uh, 
like a hot dog or a knockwurst, since I don't really do hot dogs anymore, or, you know, a burger. If it's not a single serving uh, deal like that, if it's anything that's mixed together or like a steak or a pork loin, uh, that's at least two to four meals for me alone. So if I do a couple of those early in the week, then I don't have to cook anything for another week. Which means any vegetables that I have, uh, any fresh herbs that I have, are sitting in the fridge uh, rotting. A and I've lost a whole lot of food that I've paid for because of that lag in uh, how long it takes to use up certain things. Uh, cloves of garlic uh, don't get used, and, and I've had to throw out more than a few of them because I don't eat enough. I, I eat one fancy meal a day, and that's usually dinner. The, the main point here is that food can be a lot of fun. It can be a chance to experiment. It can be a chance to experience new things and bring people together. Uh, and as we're heading into the holiday season, well, that's a whole lot of time, a whole lot of excuse to bring people together and feed them interesting and different and things that mean a lot to you. So in the comments below, let me know what your favorite uh, holiday dishes are. Uh, what do you like as your sides on Thanksgiving? What's your typical Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever meal uh, when you have a party? What's that thing that you make that everyone absolutely loves. I know some of you make awesome deviled eggs because we go to the same parties and I always eat your deviled eggs and they are great. Uh, so let me know in the comments. We'll, we'll talk a little about food, maybe exchange a couple of recipes. If you like the things I, I talk about, this one's relatively random, uh, give me a thumbs up uh, down at the bottom of the video there. If you're subscribed, thank you very much for being subscribed. And if you're not, um, Subscribe so you get notified when these things come out. And if you know anyone else who would like to be uh, involved in this conversation, who may be interested in the things I talk about, share this with them so that we can bring them into the conversation and uh, maybe share a meal or two. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.